If you're someone who likes to mod their PC games, or wants to get into modding, then somewhere you've probably seen at least one video that's along the lines of game modded with 500 plus mods. You think to yourself, wow, I wish my game looked like that. And then, if you're like me and many others, you add mods to your game until finally, something breaks. This is where mod lists come in. Mod lists are usually made by one or a few different people, with the goal of merging a bunch of mods in a way in which they all work together, and in the end you have a heavily modded game that isn't riddled with bugs, glitches and incompatible mods. What used to be the downside, however, is that as these lists could include hundreds upon hundreds of mods, you would have to download and install them all manually, and in the correct order. But then, a couple of years ago, Wabberjack was released. Wabberjack is a tool that allows you to download an entire mod list with a click of a single download button. And while okay, yes, most of the mod lists do take a little bit more than that to get up and running, and there are some limitations, but Wabberjack still saves a huge amount of time with modding. So before we get into the installation, let's look at what is actually for offer on Wabberjack. On the website here, you can go to the gallery, and then you can see a brief summary of each list. On the drop down here, you can filter by game, which shows all the games that currently have a mod list available. And you can select here to show lists which include NSFW content. I'm not judging. I advise you take a look at all the lists and read what they have to offer. You can also check my channel for showcases of lists as well. So first you'll want to create a folder called Wabberjack, wherever you want to keep it. Then, heading over to the Wabberjack homepage, you'll click download. Once that's downloaded, drag it to your Wabberjack folder and run it. It'll take a bit of time to download, so I'm just going to skip to the end. Once you have it open, at the top you should see the version number and settings icon. You'll want to head into settings, and from here, you should log into any mod websites you're signed up to. Most of the lists that I install almost exclusively use Nexus mods, so at the very least you should create an account on there and log in. I would also tick here, Use Network Workaround. I honestly couldn't tell you what it does, but for me it's made a couple of lists finish when otherwise they were stuck on their downloads. Now before we download, this is the part that could disappoint people, but you should hear it out. And that is, if you want the quickest and easiest method of downloading mod lists, you will most likely have to pay a small fee. To put it simply, the Nexus website is where most mod authors are uploading their mods, and so that's where these Wabberjack mod lists are downloading them from. Now, Nexus has a premium service which provides uncapped download speeds, and also, when you download a list on Wabberjack, it will automatically seek out and download each mod, which looks like this. Without Nexus Premium, however, Wabberjack will send you to the download page of each mod and you'll have to click download manually for each one. Yes, this is still a quicker method than downloading a list without Wabberjack, as it still sorts out conflicts and the load order and such. But clicking a download button for a list with, let's say, a thousand mods is going to take you a lot of time and attention. Lists with a huge download size have taken me an entire day to download in the past, and so I can't imagine having to click download buttons all throughout that as well. A month of Nexus Premium costs around £5 or $7, and honestly I've never regretted buying it. With the amount of time it saves downloading, plus the amount of time I spend playing the end product, for me personally, it justifies the price. So, now onto the actual downloading. First click on Browse Mod Lists. Assuming you have the list in mind that you want to install, you can either search for it, or filter by game with this drop down. Now, as you can see here, some lists are marked as under maintenance, and cannot currently be downloaded. This can happen for many reasons, but it's usually because something like one mod in the list has been updated and made incompatible of other mods, and so the list author needs time to get it all working again. It's always worth checking the author's Discord for updates, which you can usually find on their Wabberjack page. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll be downloading the quest list for Skyrim Special Edition, by hovering over a list, you can see its total download size. Choose the one you want, and click the download button here. Don't worry, this isn't downloading the full list just yet. Once it's finished downloading, you will likely be sent to a page where the list author has provided download instructions. Otherwise, you'll find the instructions on their Wabberjack webpage. Now please, whatever you do, read these instructions carefully. 
Each one is different and so you can't just copy me. If you're installing a list for a Bethesda game, it will likely talk you through how to clean the install of your game and such. Once you've done everything the instructions ask, you can then move into actually downloading all the mods to your game. Back on this screen, click Install from Disk. The target mod list should show the list you wish to install. Just click here and make sure it's selected the right one. Now I create a folder that has to be outside the Wabberjack folder called Wabberjack Mod Lists. And within that, I create a folder called whatever the mod list is. For the install here, select the folder you just made and the download location should automatically fill in. Now you click start and depending on your list, you should leave it for a long while. Also, if you find you need to pause or close Wabberjack for whatever reason, it's completely fine to do so. The download will just pick up where it left off. It's not that uncommon to encounter problems, especially when you reach the end of the download. Usually either the download will be frozen, or you'll get a message saying installation failed, like this. Luckily, most of the time this can be fixed by simply restarting Wabberjack and continuing the download. But if the problem isn't resolved, it can be for a number of reasons. One reason might be because the mod has to be installed from another site, and so somewhere in the list's installation guide would be a mod that you have to install manually and place in the downloads folder. Another reason could be because the mod has been updated or removed from Nexus. In that case, it's best to check the mod list's author's Discord to see if they have an update. Yes, these problems can be annoying, but again, most of the time I just close Wabberjack, open it again, close it, open it, until it finally downloads it all. Once everything is installed, that's it for Wabberjack. From here onwards, it's up to you to read through the installation guide. From all the mod lists I've used, there's usually not a whole lot left to do, and in the likelihood that you're installing a Bethesda game, it will usually use the mod organizer program provided, which is easy to run and start the game from, although if you want to tweak it and add stuff, that itself would require its own video. But there you go! Hundreds of mods installed, and all I needed to do was click download, then tweak a couple of files at the end that the guide mentioned, and that's it. If you're new to modding, trust me when I say that this is so much easier than installing it manually. And if you've been modding for a while, you really need to try out Wabberjack. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a like as it helps the channel grow. I also have my Discord in the description if you want to talk about mod stuff or anything else. Other than that, thank you to my Patreons, Jack Ma, Michael Eric, Nicholas J, and Christian Howell. You're really helping me out here. Thank you and farewell.